Uh, thanks, everyone. Nice to be here. I'm, I'm nice to see a big, big old crowd. Uh, my name is Graham Hill. I'm an uh, undercover Canadian living in Venice. Um, I've been uh, doing environmental stuff for about 22 years. I started treehugger.com in the mid-2000s, which was the biggest green site on the web for a while. Did small living uh, for a, uh, about a decade after. Uh, small transforming apartments with moving walls and Murphy beds and that sort of stuff. Uh, and now I'm doing a project called The Carbonauts. Uh, and we, uh, with clients, uh, Amazon, Toyota, AT&T, etc., uh, we, we help them uh, change their cultures to cultures of sustainability. And we do that um, with uh, live uh, employee engagement workshops. And let's get started. I'm going to talk about uh, change agents. Okay, not this first. Can we go back one? Somehow we missed one. Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, we have uh, climate emergency. Luckily, big companies are actually doing a lot, which is fantastic. Um, the big idea here is we're going to have to transform our cultures. So you can't just virtue signal from the top. You got to get everyone uh, on board. Unfortunately, for the average person, uh, climate's not even top five. Um, so that's a big deal. Um, and also, the average person uh, is thinking about straws and about recycling stuff we want to think about, but not the important stuff. The the big moves: renewable energy. Uh, driving, flying, etc. Luckily, the average is not necessarily what matters. Um, change agents are amongst us, and they are not average. They care about climate. They're willing to take action. They're willing to talk about it and inspire others. So, uh, as an example here, uh, Sarah. Um, if Sarah has a number of friends who are looking at renewable energy and she's hearing about it, uh, she's seen the solar panels on Ramon's place. She's seen the uh, sticker on Joe's uh, door about renewable energy. Uh, we are influenced by those around us, those close to us. And so uh, uh, you want to find in your uh, company, you want to find these change agents because they can help transform your cultures. There may not be a, a large percentage of them, uh, but they're there. So you want to find them, uh, educate them, empower them, and they can help start transform your company, person uh, by person, taking action and influencing. Uh, over time, uh, they inspire others, who inspire others, who inspire others. Uh, the uh, movement gets bigger and more and more powerful and effectively uh, create uh, new social norms. So at a certain point, uh, the change makers' social norms become the social norms. And so what's beautiful there is it actually uh, flips the company. So your culture is entirely changed. The company uh, has a new culture. And what's cool about that is, of course, that companies influence other companies. And so uh, if you can get uh, companies to change, then you're going to change, influence companies. That's sort of that next level up. And if we can influence companies, then we influence our entire society, and that's when things really flip, and we get the beautiful green future that we all want. And so um, what's important here is finding the change makers. You guys are clearly here because you care about climate, so I'm going to bet there are a lot of change makers in the house. And I'd encourage you uh, just to keep working on making your home lives and your work lives more sustainable and really uh, talking about it. I think that's the really big one. You gotta share. It's really important to let other people know because you can help build the social norms that we need and social norms is what drives us. Social norms is how we're gonna get out of this mess. Thank you. <laughs>